chassis frame. A typical chassis frame diagram can be represented as here the long sections which are right and left members of frame are called longitudinal members. These longitudinal or side members are joined together with cross members with the help of bolts or rivets. Generally, five to six cross members are used to give a good strength and stability to the chassis frame. Sometimes, diagonal cross bracing is also provided for torsional rigidity. The longitudinal members are upswept in the front and rear to provide the space for movement of axles due to springing. It also helps in keeping the frame height low. Also, the frame tapers from rear to front to provide a better steering lock by providing a smaller turning circle. The brackets are provided in the frame to support the body and also for mounting different parts such as suspension springs, engine, brake shaft, etc. The extension of the chassis frame ahead of front axle is known as front overhang, whereas beyond the back axle is known as rear overhang. The engine, clutch and transmission are all bolted together into an assembly and are mounted usually on the front end of this frame by means of rubber blocks. These rubber blocks help in isolating the engine from road shocks and also isolating the vehicle from engine vibrations. All these members used in making the chassis frame are made up of pressed steel frame of different cross sections.